Welcome back to WebCAF AI. We do daily chat GBT and AI videos on your personal and business life. And today we're gonna to be building out a zap that was suggested by one of our subscribers here, Squishy the Squid. So I'm gonna pop it right here. Go ahead and check it out. Essentially, the thought process behind this zap is that we're gonna be looking at an RSS feed from whatever news source you choose to look at. And we're gonna essentially look for specific keywords and then get an email alert from that. The final product is going to look like this. Essentially, we're going to have a nice little email alert that says article found in this context. I just went ahead and looked for the word British. And then as you see here, we're going to use ChatGPT to not only analyze the article, find the article, but also we'll get a link to the article. So if I click this right here, we're going to go ahead and get straight access to the uh, article alert. You're going to be basically able to set up any of these alerts for any keyword or any topic that you want to essentially set up. All right, let's go ahead and begin. We're going to go ahead and say create new zap here and I'm just going to call it article alert. So the context of what I'm going to do in this video is I'm just going to set it up to like look for anything that is referenced to Bitcoin or cryptocurrency, Ethereum, all that. That's going to be the zap for this. Obviously, whatever you choose to do, make that your, you know, fine tuned this specific zap here for, you know, the keywords that you're looking for. All right, to start the flow, all we need to do is a trigger of RSS. This is gonna essentially allow us to grab the data on the specific uh, articles or news site we're looking at. So let's go ahead and jump over to Google and find RSS feed. In Google, I'm just gonna go for CNN, I'm just to CNN RSS feed. For my context, I'm gonna do CNN money. Obviously, choose an RSS feed that you wanna look at and observe. So in theory, I could go with just this RSS feed, which encompasses the entire stories. But what I want to show you is essentially is how to get a, or set up a zap that essentially looks at RSS feeds from multiple different uh, sources. You know, so maybe you want to not only look at CNN, but you want to look at um, some other source like Fox News. So what we're going to do here is we're going to go ahead and grab the first one. It's going to be top stories. All we need to do is copy the link, come back over to here, and we're going to choose the event of new items in multiple feeds. If you just did new item in feed, that would just only be one RSS link. But for our sake, we're gonna do new item in multiple feeds. All right, from here, we're gonna add the first one there. Let's go ahead and just jump back and forth. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and just grab another RSS feed here, perfect. Paste that in there. And as you see here, we got a maximum of 10 RSS feeds you can look at here. So we're gonna do personal finance. I'll go ahead and throw in the all stories in there as well. Might as well just encompass everything on top of that. And then from there, essentially what you could do in theory is find RSS feeds in other sources. But for now, that is sufficient of what we're trying to do here. And then we're going to choose the recommended, which is going to be the actually we're not going to choose a recommended due to the context of we want to basically look at every single article that comes in and scan it. We're going to do anything is different. So we're going to essentially look at every time there is a new article in the news feed. We're going to trigger that. Obviously, you can choose the choice you want to. But in the theory, if you want to go with one that essentially you know scans it every single time a new article is in, that's the one you want to go with. From here, we're going to hit continue. And then we're going to go ahead and add a filter block. Now, the filter block in Zapier essentially will only run the flow when it is allowed to continue based off a set amount of variables. For our context, all we need to do is say when the title contains or exactly matches, depending on what you want to do. And we're going to go ahead and just add in multiple keywords here. You could just do one keyword for us. We're just going to do multiple. So the first one I'm going to add is going to be Bitcoin or the BTC. We're going to do or and then the same kind of flow here. So let me go ahead and fill this out real quick. So go ahead and keep building that out. As you see here, the four different keywords I'm looking for is Bitcoin or BDC or BTC, Bitcoin stock and cryptocurrency from here. Essentially, this flow won't be. Uh, continue or won't be triggered if none of those new articles that come in so maybe there's an article about dogs that has no correlation to the keywords you're looking for that won't push past this point which is good for us so what we want to do now is we're going to do a web parser block this essentially is going to allow us to take the article that comes in and get all the contents that can be found on the page so from here we're going to do url to parse and we're going to grab the link as shown here and then choose a specific type of format for this context, I would suggest using plain text. I'm gonna hit test action. And then this should bring in all the content that is associated with this article. Perfect, so as you see here, we got the title, we got the content, and we got the author, the date published, and so on, just all the variables associated with the article. From here, we're gonna make a chat GBT block. And the purpose of this chat GBT block now is let's go ahead and condense, summarize, and essentially choose the important stuff that we care about in that specific article on top of that we're gonna be able to put a link in our email this is gonna be really really cool stuff here but let me go ahead and check out the article that it grabbed for the example 
Um, so this one is talking about the Austin Martin falls 5%. So just for the purposes of this video, um, in order to show you like an accurate version of using the chat, I'm gonna go ahead and just switch up the purpose of the underlying chat here. So we're gonna go ahead and say based on this article, assuming that it went through the filter and we're good to go, we're gonna go ahead and choose content here and we'll make sure we put that in parentheses so we make sure the data is con uh, contained and doesn't overlap for other stuff we're telling it to do. We're gonna put the author here and we're gonna do parentheses again. Let's go ahead and grab the author. And then we can go as far as basically grabbing anything here that we care about. Obviously, let's say you chose, you know, word count, for example, you would put word count, semicolon, parentheses, and then the variable that is just so we keep this accurate and best as possible. We're going to say generate in a bullet list format, the following, and then we're going to do semicolon. And then essentially what you want to do and what you want to skim for, maybe you just want the link and you don't necessarily have to care about this part of the, the block. But in this context, let's say we care about, you know, certain things. So let's say we want to say how many times the word British is said or yeah, said. So in that context, maybe the specific keyword that you care about. And then we're going to say uh, one sentence summary of the article. And then we can say the author's name. And then, and let's just do one final one. We'll say um, uh, summarize in three to five words, the tone of the article. As you see here, this can get, you know, anything that you really want about to know about the article, ChatGPT will be able to analyze and understand. From here, we're gonna go ahead and up our model to GBT4. You could in theory use 3.5, but stuff like this that you, uh, requires GBT to kind of look at text and really come to conclusions. I prefer using a higher model. Next, we're gonna go ahead and put in a memory key here. We're gonna say article out. Purpose of the memory key is to maintain consistency on the output. So if you like how the output looks, you wanna put a memory key there so it understands every single time, this is what we like to see from you. Let's go ahead and see what the generation will come to. Also, if you feel like you learned something up to this point, make sure to like the video, it's completely free and it helps us here at Web Cafe AI. And I wanna point out that we are taking user suggestions. So leave a comment down below for a specific AI automation that you're interested in seeing on this channel. But for now, we went ahead and got our output here. And as you see here, it's formatted as bullet point list. And the specific keyword I was looking for is British. So it was mentioned three times, one sentence summary, summary, author's name, and the tone of the article is cautious skepticism. Skepticism, if I can speak. From here, all we need to do is make a Gmail block. And as the user, or as the subscriber has asked me to do essentially is set it up as an email alert. So all we need to do is set Gmail and we're gonna send send an email as the event here. We're gonna hit continue. And then for our purposes, we're gonna use our courses account as we do do a lot of AI courses here at Web Cafe. We're gonna hit continue here. And the two emails gonna be whatever email you wanna send the alert to. For our context, we're just gonna do the courses. And then from here, we can go ahead and add a subject. We're gonna go ahead and do alert uh, found found keyword obviously we could in theory make another gbt block to ask for um a you know a variable subject line that's more specific to what you care about so keep that in mind on top of that what we want to do here is we can keep it as plain we're gonna do the conversation and we're gonna choose assistant response message and then on top of that if we want to make this even more fancy let's go to parse web page and let's go to url and this is going to give us the cited source of where i got all this information from you could also add more information so maybe i want to give the title of the article as well there then all we need to do is hit continue here let's go ahead and test that action and see what it looks like as you see we have got the email with our fixed subject line alert found keyword we got the summarization done by gbt here and then we got the title of the article and the link to that article that we were referring to. Really good stuff. As always, the zap can be found in the description below. If you like what you saw up to this point in this video, make sure you subscribe. We go over a ton of AI automation when it comes to ChatGBT and Zapier and how to leverage it for your personal and business life. Also, check out the playlist at the end of this video as you can see other stuff we've done on this channel on this topic. But without further ado, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for tuning in. And yes, surprise, I'm an AI avatar. Make sure to explore more here at Web Cafe, where we demystify AI for your personal and business life. Until next time.